everyone, it's Kara Wedby with Simply Magical Vacations by Kara, your favorite travel agent coming to you live from Branson, Missouri at the Westgate Branson Woods Condos. Um, I am sitting in a one bedroom villa and if you'd like to see a video of this, well, it's on my YouTube page. Uh, the link is above in the pin post, but we are about to leave tomorrow and then I'll be coming to you live next week back from home. But uh, today is Friday, June 14th, <laughs> so this is your show, the travel news you can use for Friday, June 14th, so let's get started, shall we? Hopefully the Wi-Fi works. It's been okay Wi-Fi, but it's kind of slow sometimes, so hopefully it won't buffer for you. All right, first bit of news is Disney has just confirmed the addition of an all-new animation experience coming to the Conservation Station once Rafiki's Planet Watch reopens slightly ahead of schedule on July 11th. Remember, we were talking about this before, and they were supposed to reopen at the beginning of the summer, but then they said it was going to be delayed to, like, August. Well, now it says July 11th, so that's great. In honor of the celebration of Disney's The Lion King, Disney's Animal Kingdom will be launching the animation experience at Conservation Station offering guests the opportunity to learn how live animals have inspired some of the most iconic characters from this beloved tale. Guests will learn more about some of the animals who call this park home and then have the chance to create a personalized piece of Disney art through an instructor-led animation class. That's cool. As you expect, some of the beloved characters from The Lion King will be the stars of the animation experience, which will start when Rafiki's Planet Watch reopens on July 11th. Come learn how to draw Simba, Zazu, Pumbaa, Timon, and more. Each session will be different, so be sure to visit often to complete the collection. Disney Fast, Plus, Fast Pass Plus service will be offered for the experience. Oh, that's cool, too. So you can make those selections starting later this week. For more than 60 years, animals have been a part of Disney storytelling, and these stories continue today alongside efforts to protect wildlife and habitats around the world, as well as provide immersive experiences that connect kids and families with the magic of nature. Disney has promised that animal encounters at the affections section, medical procedures at the veterinary treatment window, and demonstrations on how animal care experts prepare meals for and care for the park's animal residents will also continue at Rafiki's Planet Watch, all reopening July 11th. Hey! Hey, Judith, how's it going? I saw a spirit jersey today at the Disney outlet in Branson that I really think you would have liked. It was very red, white, and blue. Very cool looking. Uh, last week, Virgin Voyages and a bunch of other cruise lines shared information on how the U.S. government regulations about cruise lines will no longer allow them to sail to Havana. So as promised, they're getting back to us to update us on the new port on the Virgin Voyages sailings. So there are a couple of different sailings that they gave us the new ports for that used to go to Havana. One of them is Richard Branson's birthday bash sailing. So this itinerary will now head to the Bohemian Cultural and Boating Paradise, Bohemian it says, of Key West and make a stop at the exclusive beach club at Bimini, Bahamas. And no need to worry, Richard is still very much planning his special celebration for this sailing. With two late night sailaways for the most time possible in each port, your new sailing will allow ample time to explore Key West and departs during and yeah, and departs during the historically famous sunset of the southernmost tip of the continental US. Next you'll experience a transformational day of relaxation and rejuvenation at the Beach Club at Bimini Bahamas, topped off with our exclusive late night signature bonfire soiree. This celebration of their stars will be the ultimate way to top off this day and is only available on these fire and sunset soiree sailings. These soirees are complete with twilight DJ sessions, embracing the alluring communal nature of traditional beachside bonfires and featuring artistic fire installations inspired by the fireball sculptures of Richard Branson's Necker Island. Plus, this midnight departure means more time to enjoy the beach club than any other sailing. If for any reason you find out that this change doesn't work with your personal plans, we completely understand. And then let your travel agent know and we'll be able to get you on a different sailing. Okay, so that's the Richard Branson birthday bash sailing and where they're going instead of Havana, Cuba. It's going to be Key West. Yes, Spirit Jerseys. Yay. <laughs> yes, cruise. Yay. So they're redoing all of these cruises that we're going to Cuba, Judith. So many cruise lines go to Cuba and now they can't. So they're telling us where they're going instead. Um, this one is still Virgin Voyages. So the other one is called the Fire and Sunset Soiree. 
With two late night sail aways for the most time possible in each port, your new sailing heads to the Bohemian cultural and boating paradise of Key West. Okay, so the Fire and Sunset ones and the Richard Branson ones are going to Key West instead of Havana, Cuba. And every sailing that Virgin Voyages does will go to the beach club in Bimini, Bahamas that they've created. Uh, let's see, the Mexican one. The new sailing itinerary is the Riviera Maya. With two late night sail aways for the most time possible in each port, this sailing is a getaway into Mexico's premier hotspots on the Mayan Riviera, as well as a stop at the stunning beach club at Bimini. Your first stop is the Mayan Riviera with access to Cozumel Playa del Carmen, featuring shimmering surf and some of the world's best diving spots among its desert diverse reef that is home to 26 coral species. Explore the ecological and archaeological treasures of Playa del Carmen, including extensive Mayan ruins, or plan an outing to the eco-forward elevated Bohemian sanctuary of neighboring Tulum, famous for its picturesque beaches and diverse nightlife. With a midnight sail away, you'll have the maximum exploration time possible so you can make the most of the day activities and the nightlife of Playa del Carmen and Tulum. Next up, you'll revel in the transformational morning tonight experience at the Beach Club at Bimini, complete with our final evening communal bonfire chill down. It's going to be epic. Obviously, if that doesn't work for you, we can change your sailing. I know. Now, yeah, no one gets to go now. <laughs> so, at least unless the law changes again or if Cuba, you know, changes its acts, I guess, uh, the reason for the law. All right. Norwegian Cruise Line now is going to be sailing the Norwegian Getaway which has just recently been updated from New Orleans. And if you would like to sail from New Orleans starting this November on the Norwegian Getaway, you can fly there from over a hundred different gateways in the country for free. So you're, you know, they're doing take all five free right now with Norwegian, especially if you have a balcony room and above. But for these sailings into New Orleans, over a hundred different airports fly there for free. So no matter where you live in the country, we could probably find you at free uh, airfare into New Orleans to go on this ship. So if you're interested in sailing out of New Orleans, let me know. Um, also, Virgin Voyages announced this week that they are hiring the very first female ship captain. Her name is Captain Wendy Williams. She comes from Canada. Um, she has had three decades at sea, so she's no stranger to many sides of mariner life. She is the ship's first captain of the Scarlet Lady for Virgin Voyages. Um, let's see, they also added some new ports. You asked for more and we listened. Now you can sail with us for seven nights. They were just going to do four and five night sailings on Virgin Voyages out of Miami. So now they're going to do a seven night sailing as well. This one will go to San Juan, Puerto Rico, Cozumel, Playa del Carmen, Mexico, and Key West, Florida, in addition to their beach club they're building in Bimini, Bahamas. So every sailing of theirs goes to that beach club. And then it'll go to these other ports as well for that new seven night sailing they're adding. Um, because sailors asked for longer options, we're introducing the new seven-night seasonally curated itineraries, including our holidays and nights voyage, and our New Year's Ahoy itinerary featuring stops in Porta Plata, Dominican Republic, Bimini in the Bahamas, and San Juan, Puerto Rico. Hmm. Those are their holiday sailings that they've added. All right. Princess Cruise Line Sun Drench Deal started this week. You can save up to 35% and bring the whole gang extra guest sale from just $99 a person um, for slots three and four in a room. Grandma loves chilling on the beach in the Caribbean. Uncle Bob likes to savor the authentic flavors, aka tacos, and live it up a little too much in Mexico. Cousin Sheila enjoys the seaside breeze on the shores of Canada and New England. Help your guests plan a family reunion, sail with their pals, or just go for the party with Uncle Bob and enjoy major savings with the sun-drenched deals. You will enjoy 35% off plus of fares plus $99 for any extra guests. So that is the sun drenched deals starting on Princess Cruise Lines this week. Um, let's see, Royal Caribbean is sailing to Singapore, they've just announced, in 2020 and 2021 on the Quantum of the Seas, which is a Quantum class ship. Discover unspoiled Thai beaches in Phuket and ancient history in Da Nang, Vietnam on a once-in-a-lifetime Asian adventure. Those are Singapore adventures in 2020 and 2021 on Quantum of the Seas. That's Royal Caribbean. 
Also, 2020 transatlantic sailings have been announced for Royal Caribbean, journey into a world of incredible adventures on board a Royal Caribbean transatlantic sailing. More days at sea mean more time to discover all the distinctive activities abroad and on board. All right. Dino Land in Animal Kingdom has a restaurant called Restaurantosaurus. It's a quick service restaurant. And what I'm about to tell you about is also going to be quick service credits. So they're adding like gourmet burgers and ice cream sundaes to a specialized reservation side of the restaurant. So like one side is regular quick service where you just walk up and make your order and get your food and this other side is going to be these classic burger meals and yummy sundaes to top off your day in dino land usa this new dinner experience is definitely for you our paleontology students have conspired to open a fun and exclusive burger joint right at restaurant tesaurus giving families a great way to enjoy handcrafted burgers and a build your own ice cream sundae bar for just one price, you can select an entree and a side dish and even build your own sundae. On the menu are gourmet burgers, a chicken sandwich, a veggie burger, and a salad. For the sides, you can choose from fries or onion rings served with a delicious house-made dipping sauce. Plus, your dinner also includes a non-alcoholic beverage. When you order, you'll receive a token that can be redeemed for a bowl with two oh-so-yummy scoops of delicious ice cream, which you can then take over to the toppings bar to build your own dig site sundae with an abundance of selections to choose from. In addition to savoring those burgers and treats, guests will be able to color with fun dinosaur stencils while cast members entertain them with games and stories of the paleontology students who created the restaurant. Restaurant Source Burgers and Sundays is available only during dinner on select nights beginning August 18th and is $22.99 plus tax for adults and $14.99 plus tax for children ages 3 through 9. Alcoholic beverages will also be available for purchase. This experience can also count as one quick service meal entitlement on the Disney dining plan. Quick service dining at Restaurantosaurus will still be available on the other side as normal. Guests partaking in this new dinner experience will check in at a designated register while they will be escorted to a table in a separate dining room. Reservations are also open. So if you would like this, kind of another one of those quick service ones where it helps have a reservation for, and again, it doesn't start till August 18th. Um, the other ones you have to have one for is the Pizza Fari Family Dining Quick Service Experience in Animal Kingdom and also uh, Be Our Guest Breakfast or Lunch in Magic Kingdom. And then the other one is in Hollywood Studios. Uh, they just redid the ABC Commissary and now they have reservations available for it as well, but it's also quick service and just at dinner. So those are adding to the quick service options at Disney World. Toy Story has been such a special place in my heart and is one of my favorite Disney Pixar movies. I remember watching the movie debut in 1995 and falling in love with Woody and Buzz Lightyear and admiring their incredible friendship and loyalty to Andy. I even wanted to write my name on all my toys. Fast forward to 2019 and I'm so excited for the upcoming release of Toy Story 4 later this month where I can revisit those same memories with even more new characters. I can't wait to see more of Forky, Duke, Kaboom, and Ducky and Bunny. If you're a big Toy Story fan like I am, you won't want to miss the the newly opened Toy Story Drop pop-up experience this summer at Disney Springs. Toy Story Drop is a new mobile game that is fully themed in the Toy Story universe where you can interact with new and beloved characters anywhere and anytime. Guests who visit the pop-up experience now through August 9th can play the game for free, take a selfie with the claw, and receive a limited edition Toy Story Drop pop socket while supplies last. You'll find the pop-up experience just outside of Paddlefish. Toy Story Drop is available now for iOS, Google Play, and Amazon. Players progress through gameplay by matching, dropping, and clearing hundreds of exciting puzzles to help their favorite characters like Woody and Buzz Lightyear overcome larger-than-life obstacles as they journey across iconic locations such as Andy's Room and the Pizza Planet. The new game includes characters, friendships, locations, environments, and motifs from the entire Toy Story universe, including Toy Story 4, which opens in theaters June 21st. Be sure to follow Toy Story Drop on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and share all the fun on your social channels with hashtag Toy Story Drop and hashtag Disney Springs. To learn more, you can visit ToyStoryDrop.com. So that's a new mobile game. They're giving out free pop sockets while supplies last in Disney Springs. Adventures by Disney 2019 Last Chance Savings are available. 
You can book now through December 16th and save $400 per person on select Adventures by Disneyland and River Cruise departures, $300 per person on select six-day Southern California departures, and $150 a person on select four-day Southern California escape departures. So if anybody's wanting to go on those and save some money, let me know. There's been a lot of great news for Disney fans this year. Truly, it is hard to think of a year in recent memory with more Disney fanfare, pun intended, and we're only in May. Well, in keeping with the previous months, there's even more to celebrate. Disney has accounted new animated experimental short films coming to the Disney Plus platform in the spring of 2020. These brand new animated short films are a part of Short Circuit. This is a program that exists, so any person working at Walt Disney Animation Studios can bring an idea to the table. What's more, they might even be picked to produce their idea into an original animated short with backing of the studio and their artistic peers. That's really cool. This was on DizForDisney.com's website. But that's really neat. So that'll be on the Disney Plus service. Yet another reason I will be um, getting the Disney Plus service. <laughs> All right, so some app updates that happened this week. My Disney Experience has an app update. So especially if you guys are going to the park soon or you're in the parks, you need to update your My Disney Experience app on all your devices. Um, what other ones do I see? I'm gonna go to that first before I go to this other news here. Okay, Celebrity Cruise Line has an app update this week. Royal Caribbean Cruise Line has an app update this week. And Disneyland Park in California has an app update as well as, I believe, Universal Orlando. So, if you have any of those apps, make sure you update them. All right. Princess Cruises, in addition to their um, sun drench sale we just talked about, also has a free premier beverage package sale going on. You can book a balcony or above state room during the sip and sale. The drinks are on us. You can also get a free premier coffee and soda package when you sail in an interior or ocean view room as an extra guest in a balcony, mini suite, or suite room. Um, you can enjoy specialty cocktails, coffee, beer, spirits, wine, and other drinks, just not all at once, <laughs> along the way to destinations like Alaska, the Mediterranean, Scandinavia, and Russia, and more. So this is the free premier beverage package or the free premier coffee and soda package, depending on the room type you book, in the sip and sail save on Princess Cruise Lines. The dates for this are if you book it between June 13th and July 16th. On the deposit, 10% of the cruise fare per guest will be refundable for these particular deals, the sip and sail deal. And the voyages are for January 2020 to May of 2021. All right. This is for today. At Actually, it was going to be for today, but they decided not to do it because the line was so long at Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure this morning at Universal Studios Orlando. The second day, it was in full operation. Um, it was an eight-hour wait when the ride opened this morning at 9 a.m. <laughs> so because of that, they did not do the virtual line like they were going to do today. So maybe after today, maybe tomorrow, they'll start doing this. But the way it'll work is there may be times when guests are asked to join the virtual line on the official Universal Orlando Resort app. And remember, I just told you that you need to update your Universal app if you haven't yet. Um, to experience Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, um, once they're in Islands of Adventure, they can join the virtual line by securing a return time on the official Universal Orlando Resort app or see a team member at information stations located at the Sinbad Courtyard in, um, in Lost Continent to obtain their virtual line passes. Then they can enjoy their experiences around the park until their return time arrives. Upon their return time, guests should head to the designated attraction entrance where they will wait for their ride. This does not mean that guests will skip the line, nor would it advance their wait time in the physical queue. Guests should anticipate to wait in the queue for the duration of the wait time posted at the front of the attraction. Now, again, that didn't happen today. It was supposed to happen today, but because there was an eight-hour wait when the park opened this morning at Islands of Adventure <laughs> for this particular ride, um, and yesterday when the, it opened, it was a 10-hour wait, and they stopped the line at different times of the day for capacity. Today, they've already stopped this line for this ride for capacity at 3 p.m. So that means that the amount of time those people in line right then at 3 p.m. have to wait, it'll be park closing time by the time they get on that ride. So that's what capacity means. So 
They still have not started the virtual queue for this ride, but I think that would be a good idea because it seems like this is very long waits. I would rather be doing other stuff in the park and just come back at my virtual queue time and get in the queue at that point. So, I mean, that's just me. But they have not started that yet. When they do, that is the process. And so make sure that your Universal Orlando app is updated. Uh, Okay, beginning yesterday, miniature golf experiences will be another part of a Walt Disney World vacation that you can plan in advance. Oh, goody. Um, you can now get tea times in advance at both Disney's Fantasia Gardens and Disney's Winter Summerland by calling 407 WDW Play. Select option three from the main menu and then option one. Walk ups for miniature golf will still be available. Um, similar to a dining experience, standard booking guidelines will apply to miniature golf tea times. Well, that means to me that if you don't show up for the time that you book, they're going to charge your credit card that they probably use to guarantee this reservation $10 per person in the reservation. So if that's the standard guidelines and that's what they're doing with these tea times, then make sure you show up or you cancel before 24 hours in advance. Um, and these are not available to do online. You must call 407-WDW-PLAY. Again, select option three and then option one for your miniature golf tea time. Oh, one of the things, here are the things that the Universal Orlando app updated. Push notification updates. Want the latest news and exciting updates? We've continued working under the hood on new features to push notifications, so make sure they're enabled in iOS settings on the Universal Orlando app. Ticket store updates. We've added some new options and fixes for purchasing Universal Express in the app. And of course, they fix some bugs. All right. Oh, this is cool. The really cool, uh, cotton candy experience that they were having in uh, the China Pavilion this year for the Flower and Gardens Festival has been extended and moved to a different location in the pavilion. So if you wanted to get that cotton candy, the really special pretty cotton candy, you still can. Um, we're pleased to report that one delightful feature of this year's Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot has been extended, the cotton candy art at the China Pavilion. This was from touringplans.com. Wen Bo Zhang is a folk artist from China, and he has a unique medium that he works in, cotton candy. A sign on the counter at Joy of Tea directs guests at the marketplace inside the House of Good Fortune. You can smell the cotton candy long before you see its new home. The line begins um, inside, and there are five different designs that you can choose from, ranging in price from $7 to $16, with names like Butterfly Dream, Sunrise Star, and Spring Fantasy. How cool. Two things to note, however, summer is much more humid than spring, and so the cotton candy purchased this week started to shrink and slide down the stick the instant we got near the exit of the House of Good Fortune. Um, in March, we were able to take countless pictures of our two-layered heart in front of the panda topiary with no drooping. So if you're looking to get those gorgeous pictures, do so quickly and while in the shop. There's still plenty of gorgeous backdrops for this creation. Also, the sign at Joy of Tea lists the cotton candy hours as 11.45 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 3.45 p.m. to 6 p.m. daily off on Wednesdays. The sign at the entrance to the cotton candy queue inside House of Fortune lists the same operating hours but does not list the off date. Um, to be certain, we'd advise going on a day other than Wednesday, <laughs> according to touringplans.com. So that's cool. That cotton candy could still be purchased this summer at Epcot. This is cool. The Disney Wonder, after its dry dock uh, this year, will have some new Princess and the Frog themed experiences. Um, it will have the addition of a new, exciting New Orleans themed lounge that will transport guests deeper into the heart of the city's iconic French Quarter. A perfect complement to Tiana's Place restaurant on the Disney Wonder, the French Quarter Lounge will feature live music and themed activities for everyone in the family. Also debuting on the Disney Wonder will be a sleek new space for teens and a redesigned cafe just for adults. At the French Quarter Lounge, guests will get a touch of Bayou hospitality as they enjoy live music on the gazebo stage and sip specialty drinks at an updated whimsical bar. This natural precursor to dinner at Tiana's Place restaurant is the perfect destination for entertainment and libations before or after dinner, while the space will come alive throughout the day with New Orleans-themed family activities, trivia, and character encounters. The jazzy atmosphere of the French Quarter Lounge, also inspired by the Disney animated feature The Princess and the Frog, will evoke an airy outdoor space in New Orleans, surrounded by touches of iconic architecture, such as wrought iron balconies, classic brick walls, and shutter frame windows. Decorative details including a life-size trolley car and nods to the film in the form of signs and facades on the walls add to the ambiance of the space. 
I can't wait to see that. Meanwhile, teens and adults will also discover redesigned spaces on the Disney Wonder meant just for them. Vibe, a club reserved for teens ages 14 through 17, will transform into a contemporary place to hang out with friends while at sea. The space will be given a timeless feel with an open, bright redesign, a light color palette, and industrial metalwork, while a new coffee bar and updated virtual reality technology add to the list of activities for teens to enjoy during their family vacation on the Wonder. Adults will have an updated space all their own in the Cove Cafe after a redesign that will transform the look and feel of the cafe into a local coffee shop complete with warm, comfortable, and trendy decor. Ample seating and a relaxed atmosphere will invite guests to indulge themselves in this peaceful retreat, which is the perfect place to sip specialty cocktails, coffee, tea throughout the day. I'm sorry, specialty coffee or tea throughout the day, or partake in wine, cocktails, and light brights during the evening. Just steps away, Signals Bar is also undergoing a transformation with a similar look. The new enhancements debut on the Disney Wonders four-night sailing from Vancouver to San Diego on September 30th, 2019. How exciting. So it's going into dry talk after its last Alaskan sailing, it sounds like. Um... An article recently published by the Los Angeles Times shared new details about the future Marvel theme land coming to Disney California Adventure. This was on www.info.com. The permits that have been filed with the city of Anaheim make it clear that the new land will include retail space, a microbrewery, a character meet and greet area, a remodeled bathroom, and more. Specific details are still limited, but certain technical features can be extrapolated from the permits. For example, the apparent merchandise space will be 2,071 square feet. We do know a Spider-Man themed interactive attraction is coming to the land, but again, the details of the attraction have not been officially announced. Disney has not confirmed any of these details, but will likely announce everything coming to the Marvel themed land at the upcoming 2019 D23 Expo in August. The project is known on the permits as the Golden State Expansion, according to Disney Parks expert Matthew Gatula from the Los Angeles Times. Okay, so the new, or not new, but We've had it for a couple of years now. The Galaxy's um, Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix Live is what it's called. Um, according to Orlando Theme Park News, the show returns at Epcot today, and guests visiting the park will also be able to enjoy new food and beverage offerings at select dining locations. Um, here is a sampling of what those are. Again, this is for the Guardians of the Galaxy Live Remix at Epcot in the American Garden stage. There is a space sandwich with a blue and green bud. It sort of looks like a planet, kind of. I am Root, the root bear float with mint leaves. Um, the awesome mix plate, which looks like a mixture of french fries and like pork, almost like barbecue. And it may be pasta, but it looks like french fries to me. Um, Destroyer punch, awesome mix slushy. The rocket fuel. The Cosmic Cake, the Galaxy Juice, or the Mixed Tart that looks like the mixtape with strawberry inside. How cool. So that's the Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mixed Live new snack offerings and drink offerings available at Epcot. There is a new Dooney and Burke purse out. It is cats. Disney cats. So there we have a Disney dogs purse and now we have a Disney cats purse. And there it is. The new Disney Cats collection by Duty and Burke launches today in Disney Springs at the Ever After Jewelry Company. The next Star Wars celebration has been announced for August 27th through 30th of 2020 in Anaheim, California. Tickets will go on sale June 21st. You guys, don't forget that Father's Day is Sunday. So if you haven't gotten your father a gift yet, <laughs> um, I'm, this is your reminder. All right, and that is it. I was just checking some of the Hagrid, Hagrid's Motorbike Magical Creatures Adventure news, but I've already told you about that. So that is our news for today. Thank you so much for joining me live from my condo in Branson, Missouri. Uh, now I have to go pack. <laughs> I will talk to you guys again next week.